Hi everyone, my name is Patricia. I am one of the Brace Cadets at Somerset. Just a quick introduction on this video and its content. This is part one of the tutorial on how to use the college match assessment on Naviance and how you can get volunteer hours by doing so. I will be putting timestamps down below for each section so it could be easier to go to the section that you need. So yeah, enjoy the tutorial and don't forget to fill out the email distribution list in the Google form down below along with other information that I will be putting in regards to volunteer hours. For Naviance, which just type in Naviance can be the first one. Press a little, actually wait, press it here, the first link. Then you go, you're gonna go to for students and parents and type in Somerset Academy, just to be quicker. Twitter, hi. You click the first one, login with student. So for your login information, Ms. Pierce, um, check your collegiate emails because Ms. Pierce should have emailed you your credentials. So for example, mine is gonna be my school email. And then I have a, I had a temporary password because um, I already went through this, but you can change your password once you type in that password. It's not gonna show up for me, but for you, it's gonna, if you haven't logged in yet. So let me just do that. Okay, so here's the home screen. Once you get in, you can play around with it. Just check. Let me just look around. But my main focus for today is going to be reviewing how to, just overall the website, but um, these two things, colleges and careers, especially careers, since my project is gonna be based on finding majors, career, opportuni career opportunities, things you have to do to prepare yourself for a specific major or field. So what we're gonna do first we're gonna look at the college's home. So here are some examples, just a preview of the assessments that you can complete. So there's a super match and college match um, that are super useful when looking or just narrowing down. If you're one of those students that are confused and like have no idea where, where you wanna go, or even if you do, um, it doesn't hurt to try because you never know. Um, what you're going to find. So I did already complete most of the things, um, but I can still walk you through it. So for example, what you're going to do is you're going to look through each of them for the super match and we're going, so you want to, if you want to go out of state, you can pick a, a specific or type in any state you would want to attend and or if you're not sure you doesn't matter you don't have to but a specific region search by distance and so for me I already completed it and I put the large city small city because again I'm I myself am not sure if you would like to go near a suburb near small city anything like that again i'm going to go more in depth with the actual content of each thing in my upcoming videos so um be prepared for that but now just this is just like think of it as a pretest almost think of it as a baseline so like just start thinking of the things that you think you'd be interested in so if location is not a big deal for you you don't have to fill it all out but if academics is something that really matters to you when looking at a school, this might be really important to you. So I wanna go into biology or a STEM field, more specifically geared towards biology, pre-medicine. So here you can see the option to search for majors and it gives you a lot of options. 
So you can look through, you can, if you're not sure, you just put anything that you're somewhat interested in. You don't have to be super passionate, anything about it, just anything that you would want to pursue in the future is a lot, basically. You can take your time to go through the list, but for example, I put three schools that are for biology, bioengineering, things like that. And for minors, um, even if you don't know what a minor is now, basically, it's not everyone has to have a minor. It even tells you here, a minor is a secondary focus of study and can only be combined with a major slash degree program. So again, we're gonna go more into depth on that later. But for example, I put film and archeology span because those are, even though they're not geared, just like you can get an idea of what a minor is, um, your minor doesn't have to correlate with your major. Um, there's a lot of options you see they can go. It's kind of like a sub to your major, if that makes sense. It's like a subcategory almost. So you have your major classes, things you have to accomplish for your major, and then you have classes for your minor, which you take. And again, I'm going to go into more specific details in upcoming videos. So now I'm just scrolling at some things that you can see for now. And there's a lot of options that it gives you here. That's a good thing about Naviant and about this, um, this feature because there's just so many options. And then of course, there's an option here, search for institutions that have all of my selected minors, which you can select that if you like. So admissions, this is an important thing when looking at colleges because you know, you always want to, well, this is gonna help you to almost be more realistic of what, give you like a range of how you compare to those schools or other schools. So for example, here's, you put your GPA, you put your SAT score, and it's gonna compare you, it's gonna, take into account that when looking for these colleges. So if acceptance rate is really important to you, or even if it's not, not a lot of people think about it, but if you're gonna go for one that's 25% or lower, you already know that's gonna be more challenging to get into. So if that's what you're looking forward to, if you're looking to go to a competitive school, you can select the option. But if you are not really geared towards competitiveness and you're just, when go to state school, you can always select the percentages. You can select all of them or just a couple. Um, and this doesn't apply to me specifically. That's why I haven't, um, I don't really know too much on applications, but if you're a senior and you would like to know um, the regular application deadline, which is pretty important, especially now since college apps are going on um or even if you're a junior and you just want to and especially this for common app coalition member it's good to know which colleges are what because there's a lot of different options or different applications that the colleges require you to um, submit your application through and especially the ap credits one that is very important i should put that because not all colleges are accepting of AP credits. And that's very important because there's a lot of people that go into it, into college, and especially out of state schools because sometimes credits don't transfer or if you're gonna to go to a very competitive school, sometimes um, those universities, you need to get a specific score or just a class, they sometimes won't even take it. So it's very important. And if you're in any IB courses, of course, test optional is also very important as of now because a lot of schools have become test optional due to Corona. So it's always good to know which ones, especially the ones that you want to go into. And a no application fee, typically you won't see schools with no application fee, but it's 
it's always good to know. It tells you here. Again, all this, it tells you all the information here if you're a little confused about it. And if you need a specific question, you can always ask me. Um, so yeah, that's all there is for admissions. Student life is also a very important category that a lot of people don't consider when applying to colleges because yeah, everyone might be geared towards, you know, admissions this is a very good school, very um, academically inclined. Yeah, this is a prestigious school, but you know, you're gonna be here for four years. So you really have to consider who you're gonna be around, the environment of the school, whether you want certain things in that school and you have to see if that school has your interests. So clubs are very important, especially with this correlates to when you're looking at majors, you're gonna to have to join a lot of clubs to get that job when you're older. If you wanna be an actor and you, you know, they're gonna look at your resume, they're gonna see you're in thespian, the thespian society or I don't know the terms, but um, you know, they wanna see that you're doing those things if they're available at the school. So it's always nice to know um, if they have those opportunities for you and whether you should get involved in them. Greek life is also typically seen, so you know, fraternities, sororities, it's a whole different thing. It's not for everyone. So um, it tells you even here what it is. Engage a variety of social and charitable activities, typically single sex, and they offer housing specific to members. So again, it's always an option for everyone. Um, it's not specifically geared towards information in this video, but it's something to consider. And also ROTC, if you are someone that wants to go into the Army, Navy, Air Force, it's very, you have to know, you know, where you're going and see if those are available to you or if you're trying to do some college program for that. And of course, study abroad, that's a big one too, because um, if you've always thought about say, studying abroad, um, it's a very good opportunity to do. And I'm gonna make a whole separate video on studying abroad because really it, it can impact you in such a way. And it's gonna be very important when looking, to, for example, I've seen a lot of people in journalism that want to study abroad. And it's very difficult to basically find all that information and know like what you're doing, going to a completely different country. But I just to let you know, you should not be scared. It's always an option. And if you wanna travel the world, you know, it's, it, sometimes it can be geared towards your major and help you in many ways. So just tell you, you can earn obviously academic credit at different institutions. So it's always good to check if the college has those programs because not all of the colleges have those or universities have those programs. So, yeah.